Hey everybody, Tamika Shepard here, and this is your Wednesday Word. I don't know if you've been reading or looking at the news, but one of the biggest stories right now is the passing of Queen Elizabeth II and Charles III becoming the King of England. And even though there are some global ramifications for this transition, one thing that I keep being reminded of is as an American citizen, that's not our king. But you know what? As a Christian, we do have a king. Throughout the book of Revelation, Jesus is referred to as the Lamb of God, who is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Throughout the book of Revelations, Jesus, the Lamb of God, is called the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. However, it's in Philippians chapter two, where we truly get a glimpse of the kingship of Jesus. Verses three through eight says this, do nothing out of selfish ambition or a vain conceit, rather in humility value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of others. In your relationship with one another, have the same mindset as Jesus Christ, who being in the very nature of God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man. He humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. You see, recognizing the kingship of Jesus means that we take on the mindset of a servant. It means we don't operate in self-centeredness, selfishness, or even in conceit. It means that we put the interests of others above our own. And as a matter of fact, having the mindset of Jesus also means that we love others both sacrificially and unconditionally. You see, this is not an easy thing. And what I found to be most helpful is to say this simple prayer each and every day. God, please help me to have the mindset of Jesus Christ for loving and serving others. Amen. Now, I invite you to look for opportunities to put those words into actions each and every day, remembering that Jesus is our King. Now, my name is Tamika Shepard, and this has been your Wednesday Word. Before I go, I want to remind you to look through this week's newsletter to see the many ways that we are growing and serving others. And also, please mark your calendars for September 25th, which is Wellness Sunday. We hope to see you there. Thank you, and have a great one.